Well, on the American Idol tip, what is it really true, the controversy, or was that played up for television? Like, where's your relationship no, at with Mariah? it was true, but I don't want to talk about her no more. God bless her. I it's, mean, wow. but in terms of Idol, you know, now I could, now looking back, I could say, hmm, they're, they, they're very calculated. They, they knew a lot of things that, whatever, but... Um, but they gave me a, a great opportunity, yeah. and I love, and shout out to Mike Darnell. He actually left Fox now, and Nigel Lithgow might be as well, but I love them. I mean, I, I did have a good time. I want to say something else, too, about Nikki that when the whole thing went down, I couldn't bring up. Um, well, I tried to, but I don't think anyone heard me. Another thing that Nobody I Nobody cared after you. Yeah, no one gave After you ruined also, listen, Summer Jam, They're all going to kill bag. me now. By the way, I'm already getting killed because the Nikki fans still hate me. And all the people who ride with me, the people... And oh, I, really? You're going to oh, sit across right. from Nikki and oh, be nice now. to her now? I understand, too. And I say this with all due respect. You know, a common thing that underground people say to me when they see me is, yo, fuck Nikki Minaj. I'm like, I don't feel that way. But, hey, th I thank you for attempting to support me in your awkward way, <laughs> but I don't hate her. But, no, one thing that you and I are very much the same on is how outspoken we've been about... Um, homosexuality and hip hop and people feeling comfortable with who they are in hip hop and I think that's something like you were really the first artist who ever openly reached out to gay fans and were like I embrace you as much as you embrace me and I think that's kind of an understated important thing to do yeah 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 my fans are like the craziest bunch of people and I never I but always, good, crazy. good crazy yeah I always make them feel special I always make them feel like they're beautiful and I always try to instill confidence in them because I know what it's like. I know what it's like to be judged for being different. So I guess maybe that's my connection with them. Um, but to be honest, it's weird. When I first came in, it's like I noticed that they were gay, but now I don't. Like I, when I walk to a crowd of my fans, it doesn't even cross my mind anymore. Like I'm just like, oh. Hey, Barb's, what's up? Let's take a picture. So you, so when it first started happening, you just thought like, oh, this is interesting. Gay people seem to love me. But you didn't, it, it was not something that was on your radar. Oh, my God. It was the last thing on my mind. I never even thought, I, I never thought that I would be somebody that gay guys liked or gay girls. And it's funny because a lot of, even my, sometimes I'll, I'll see my female fans on Twitter and then I'll be like, I'll look at what they're saying and come to find out they're a lesbian. So <laughs> I don't know what I, but you know, at the time I was saying stuff like on freestyles, like, you know, and I only stop for pedestrians or real, real bad lesbians. So now I get it. But I wasn't saying it thinking, hmm, this is going to make lesbians like me. I was just saying it like on some real shit, like, hey, what up, y'all? You know, I just always, I, and I, I can compliment a woman. I've never been like a person that'll be like, can't say it. Like, I can compliment beauty and Bad asses and mm, boobs. You, yeah, and now you talk. As you talk. should. Yeah, you know man, what I'm saying? Man. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying yeah. to do this American Idol <laughs> conversation. I don't know why. As soon as she said fat asses and lesbians, let's get into this, boys and girls. Shut up. You're such a man. Ew. Yo, but look, this is what straight dudes want to hear from you. Oh, what? Yeah, oh, yeah we want to hear that you in the strip club. I do, I do pop that every time. Grabbing putting teeth marks on something, maybe even possibly. She knows she does it. You know how she does Even the little lines she has are like pink wig, thick ass. She says little things that make guys go... That just raise your, you have the little lines you throw in there about your body that get but us to pay attention. I no, but even other people's bodies. Yeah. I like looking at other people's bodies. Who's your favorite? Who has the hottest body to you, like, in the in the game? Not hip-hop, just that you see on TV. Yeah, um, I don't know. People, like, famous people don't really turn me on. Mm. It'd be like the chick in the cut. Yeah, the bartender. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just rocking with you. We on the same page. Yeah. She just started staring the at the girl. girl around the way. Just yeah. for no reason, she's bad. The like, away girl. Yeah. That's the girl. I don't yeah. want to, like... Talk about it. Yeah. I'm I'm too... I'm in the game, so it's like, that exactly. shit don't, don't impress that. me. Because, you know, girls in the game, they could look how they want to look after Photoshop and all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. So if you see a chick on the street, then you know, like, oh, okay, that's really what it is. You see how her voice changed? Like, mm -hmm. it got a little hood with mm -hmm. it, too? Yeah. Yo, I, I, are there days when you're... It's my bitch right here. Whoa, okay. <laughs> are there days when it's annoying, like, being Nikki and, like, getting up and going out in the world? where Because you, you're at a level of celebrity now that is not common. And you stick out in the crowd. I don't know if you know this, but you're wearing what looks like the a gold version of like the gen, a general in South America's hat. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, tough, I tough. am aware of that. So tough. is that like, 
Does that, are there ever days you're like, can I just be totally normal today and have no one know who I am? Yes, 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 yes. But you know what Cameron Diaz told me on the movie set the other day? She said, you know, she was like, I don't, I don't really take pictures and sign autographs. You know, like I try to live a, a very normal life. Like she doesn't even go out with with security. And um, but she said, whenever somebody is saying, hey, or I want to take a picture, or whatever. You, no matter what you're going through, how annoyed you may be, or if you're late to go somewhere, whatever, she was like, just remember that that's part of your blessing. So I don't know why that just puts so much into perspective for me because I was like, you know, there are times that sometimes I think, oh, my God, you know, I don't want to get up early to do this interview. I don't want to do this. But everything is just a part of the blessing. That's what I wanted. I wanted to be in this game, and a lot of things come with it. You know what I'm saying? So... Yeah, sometimes I go to a restaurant and I wish that I, I could just be... Because I don't like wearing makeup. I don't like getting dressed. I like I would I would rather just go out and be looking like... Do you, you know? ever do it? Do you ever try to sneak it and just go out? Yeah. And you get away with it? No. <laughs> no. I was about to say, you have a harder time. God bless Cameron Diaz, but you'd have a harder time, in have my you opinion. you seen the size of her ass? Yeah, that's There's what I'm not saying. too many of those Because you would around, go, is that G? Nicki Minaj? You're like, yo, wait a minute. Time out. Ebro? Yes. Don't, don't mention the elephant don't, in the room. Don't. Not the elephant in the room. But the <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> so question, Cameron Diaz, I've, you brought that name up twice. What's going on? What, what's happening? There's a We're shooting this movie out here in New York, and um, I play her assistant. And, you know, um, shout out to Nick Cassavetes, and shout out to my baby Irv Gotti, who um, knew Nick, and Nick called him like, yo, what do you what do you think about the girl Nicki Minaj? Like, do you know her? And Irv was like, yo, that's my sister. So shout out to Irv, I love him. But we're shooting this movie. Um, it's a comedy. Um, and outside of all of that, I keep on talking about Cameron because she's so secure as a woman. She walks on the set and she's freaking drop dead gorgeous. But she's like, she doesn't take herself too seriously. She's mm. playful and she's fun. So as we're doing the, as we're interacting, I'm just learning so much l watching her. And she'll come and talk to me and treat me like a regular person and actually like try to help and stuff like that. So. I'm having fun. I don't know why, but I don't know if it's because, you know, the idol stuff is over and my brain was just, like, going crazy. And I was stressed, too. There was it, a lot of negativity out there. It was a lot there. of stress. It was a lot of mental stress, you know right. what I'm saying? Like, to have to sit by somebody every day or just to wonder. But now on the movie set, it's like, I'm so happy. Mm. And I, I don't know if that's because this is, like, my dream to be an actress or what, but... But I, you know, sometimes you'll sit on the trailer for eight, nine hours, and me and my whole team, we're just sitting there like enjoying it. Like we're not, like I'm not mad, like I'm not complaining. It's just, a, it's just a great vibe, and I can't wait for people to see the movie. What's the name of the movie? The Other Woman. And are you the no, other I'm woman? Not. So you're just. I'm just her assistant, but you gotta watch it. You gotta. So just there's watch no it. Nicki Minaj sex scene. There's no. You don't have a boyfriend in the movie. Yo, there's Ebra. No, you, Listen, I'm trying to help the people. She doesn't out. get naked in the movie, man. She's How not, do you know? I just unlikely in her first role that. that she as a comedy. <laughs> it's not like Porky's or something. That's just not gonna happen. We might catch a nip slip you or an underwear the, scene. Do or, you want to be in the movie? Of course I do. What would you be doing? You tell me. I'll be the other guy. If it's the other <laughs> woman, I'll be the other guy. So thirsty. So, um, would you like do anything to be in the movie? Like, would you wear like let's say thongs? Maybe. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe. Ebro is willing to wear a thong. Maybe it might to happen. be in the. But you, the movie. By the way, being in the movie doesn't mean you're gonna like have a scene where you grope her ass. She just said right. be in the movie. Right. Oh, she didn't say. I her thought I was wearing a thong potentially for you because we was gonna this have like a scene. image in my head oh. is getting horrible. <laughs> right.